hey guys another video here and in today's video we'll be talking about five mistakes you should not make as you head to grad school so i'll be sharing with you very common mistakes i made a lot of them but i want to make sure you don't make any of those mistakes so i'll be sharing with you five mistakes you should absolutely not make as you head to grad school so let's get started mistake number one not participating not being active just going to grad school pass my test my exams and just get my degree while that is great and that might be your plan but mm -mm, don't do that so you want grad school really is for people that can participate and i understand sometimes it's a struggle because like there's just so many things thrown at you so many activities and you have to balance those things with school work like your academics and stuff like that i get it but make sure as you head to grad school you make up your mind to participate and this is not just like you doing your tests your homework and things like that but you want to um also make sure that you are participating in social events you're organizing sometimes um you're participating in them sometimes and you are also like um participating in class you're sharing your opinions in class you are actively participating not just like you just take your test your take home um, exams and stuff like that you're making sure that people like you are giving a voice you're participating and you are being active you miss a whole lot when you don't participate in class and when you don't uh, participate in activities now i get it don't overdo yourself <laughs> don't overdo and get tired and get burnt out introverts like me yes i'm an introvert yeah introverts like me really don't get a lot of energy from like all these many social events but once in a while when you can attend you should attend because that's where people connect and even if you're not doing a lot of that in class share your thoughts share your opinions even if it's not like fully baked thoughts you should you know totally raise your hand and share th uh, thoughts or opinions and say hey this is something i'm still thinking about but professor it's related to what we're discussing in class today and i think this 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 or this is why i, I disagree with this but grad school is for people that can participate really you're missing out a whole lot because that is that is one more opportunity where the school is bringing all these people with different backgrounds with different um you know from different cultures just in one space and learning together and really putting yourself out there you could be building your network really well so don't miss that opportunity and be that person that only does your academic work and doesn't like participate in all the other activities that happen in grad school hope that makes sense <laughs> Another mistake a lot of people make is they don't take advantage of being a student. <laughs> so there are many advantages you get um, by just being in grad school for those two years or for those 12 months you're in grad school. One of those is like discounts. So a lot of things have student discounts. So we're talking like conferences or even books or stuff <laughs> or other things that I can't think of right now. They have student discounts and you want to, whenever you want to buy anything, of course, maybe not on Amazon. Amazon even has a student discount, but that's not the point. <laughs> but if you're thinking of going for some research conference or some other events that are related to what you're studying or your um, interest, you should check if they have student discounts. Typically, uh, many conferences or many events or many things announce that there's a, like it's part of the announcement that there's a student discount. But sometimes there's no such an uh, announcement or publicity around like the fact that there's a student discount. So you want to make sure you ask them that, hey, I'm a current grad school, current grad student in this school doing this program. I really love to attend. Um, is there a student discount I can take advantage of at this time? Things like that. <laughs> but you want to make sure you take advantage of all those things. Another thing is, now let's leave events. Let's talk about recruiting a bit. A big part of recruiting is like networking in different like in different countries you need to like reach out to people introduce yourself have chats informational interviews and all of those things that like take time um, but a big part of this is like you reaching out to people that don't know you either that's on LinkedIn or that's you know going on your school's alumni portal and like looking for people a big part of that a big part of recruit recruiting is doing all of that networking so as a student, people want to talk to you. People just want to talk to you. People want to 
people are going to create time for you because oh you are a student oh you actually graduated from oh you are you are in this school i graduated from oh you are doing this um program that i'm interested in or we have similar research interests blah 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 people make out time for students more than they make out time for i'm trying to say regular people but like for you or more than they'll make time for you after you graduate so you want to take advantage of all of that reach out to people build your network as much as you can as a student don't be ashamed to reach out don't feel like terrible or don't feel like you're disturbing people no people will make out time for you as a student so make sure you take advantage of being a student so that is one big mistake a lot of people make i make that i made that mistake to like not you know taking advantage of the fact that you are a student for this period and taking all the opportunities all the advantages that come with just being a student again so another mistake that people make is not working while in school and this is even more important if you're an international student you want to make sure no matter how small how tiny <laughs> make sure you work while in school um, and if possible work uh, in an area or in a field that is related to what you're interested in post graduation and I'm not saying this to me like you need to go look for a job on campus oh yes you should look for a job on campus you should look for jobs in your city but I'm also talking about like even things like working on a startup that your friend has or you start something uh, or a project it doesn't even have to be a startup like a company it can be a project something related to what you're interested in post graduation i really 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 recommend that and i see a lot of international students who don't do any job any kind of work any kind of project any kind of research while on campus especially master students you should not do that you should try to do something while you're in school and it doesn't have to be um something that you spend 10 hours on every day it can be one hour every day it can be five hours every day it can be two hours whatever but let that just be an opportunity for you to um you know just do something and when you begin to interview and i've shared this before i don't know which video at this point or what videos because i've shared in different videos but it's important when you go for interviews at some point you uh, realize that some people can just relate to experiences you had in that country i don't know why that is the case i don't know <laughs> why that makes sense to them but the fact that you've done something related to this and you've done it recently just gives you an edge so make sure you work while in school apart from it giving you some cash of course some jobs don't even give you any cash because they are you know um they're free they're not paid uh, you should still do them and you don't have to spend all your hours on them just make sure you you have that on your resume as well it really helps it can be a project you started yourself it can be something you're doing with a friend it can be something you're doing with your classmate it can be something you're doing with a professor just work and if possible something related while you're on campus another mistake a lot of us make is that we don't build community and community is very important see grad school could be lonely depending on like how introverted extroverted how just different things grad school could be really lonely and it takes some time for you to adjust to the new system especially if you're international like the new culture the new way of life the new style of doing things so grad school could be lonely and you need community for different reasons you just um need to have a community a place where you you know maybe have friends and they may not be close friends just people that you can relate with and you know share with and stuff like that so community is very important from the get-go start building community and that will really help and I know this is difficult sometimes because you're still getting used to the system. You don't want to seem awkward. You don't want to be that person. You're just like, mm, after class, I'll go home. I get it. Listen, I can, I, can, I, I can relate to that. But you want to build community from the beginning. And that is why I decided to uh, connect some international students that are going to um, that are starting grad school this year. I am connecting students um so i have many of you here on youtube and a lot more people on instagram so if you like to know like who else from your country or someone else as an international student 
going to your school or going to the same city maybe different schools or the same city as um, you will be going to I'm going to start connecting people but you need to fill a form where I just ask you basic information like what school you're going to what city so you can begin to connect with people you can begin to connect with other international students in your area okay so if you're interested in filling that form and you want me to connect you with another international student going to the same city going to the same school going to the same area I'll drop a form in the description box make sure you fill that form and fill it as soon as possible um, I think the deadline would be maybe in a week once I just have up to like 20 30 people sign up I think I'll close it. So make sure you fill that form as soon as possible and um, Yeah, I'll drop that in the description box fill the form and I'll reach out to you uh, You all the details you need and the form you need to show me some proof as well that you're heading to school this year just so I can make sure um, the people I'm connecting are people that are truly will be in the same city or the same school um, later this year. So I hope that is helpful. Um, that's one way you can build community once you head to, once you get to campus. Um, even before you meet your classmates, you can meet other international students that are coming to your area. So another mistake you should absolutely avoid as you head to grad school is not building relationship with people. This is related to, I think, the first point I mentioned, but you need to build relationship with your classmates with your uh, professors, with people that work in the school, build this network. Many times um, professors help some people get jobs or connect them with people that are working in the field they are interested in. Sometimes that doesn't happen immediately, but just build. This is one opportunity you have with all these people, different backgrounds, different cultures, different experiences, just being in one space and you know take advantage of that as much as possible so one thing you realize is that your dream company or your dream job or your dream startup or your dream entrepreneurial path someone has been there but you may not know because you're not chatting with them you don't know them you are not talking to people in the class you're not sharing what you're interested in you're not talking when your professors are in class boom you need to build relationship with people and that could be your classmates that could be your professors don't overwhelm yourself but this is something that is important take it one step at a time you can set a target of meeting one new person in your class every week that's okay but put in some effort into like building these relationships um once you get to campus once you get to, once you start grad school so if you like today's video make sure you click that like button give this video a thumbs up that really helps my channel and if you want more grad school content like this helping you thrive in grad school or getting into grad school in the first place uh you should totally subscribe to my channel okay at this point you should have subscribed to this channel right so please subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in my next video